ask because I don't know. I was just cleaning the lens as I've done a million times and then the plastic just said, no, nope. bye, see ya. So yeah, this is my current predicament. I will probably be visually impaired for the foreseeable future. How fun is that? Hi, it's Oishi, welcome back. I have work to do, but instead I decided I wanna film a video if I don't get into university, this is why. So it's no secret that I absolutely love, 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 love Avatar. And I also really love tier lists. I don't know why. I just think it's so fun to watch people make tier lists. So I thought, you know, why not take something I love, Avatar, take another thing I love, tier lists, and marry the two. So that's what we're doing today. I am going to be making a tier list of all of the characters in Avatar, or at least the ones that I put on this tier list. Okay. So, here is our tier list. Uh, this is a YouTube playing in picture of thing that I'm using to cover the tiers. Don't at me, just allow it. First tier, the very bottom of the list, is Burned, Dishonored, and Banished. This is for characters that are just scum of the earth, like the worst of the worst. Characters that suck, that are terrible, that are bad people, and then also that I just don't like. <laughs> characters that deserve to be burned, dishonored, and banished. Next we have Let's Destroy a Whole Culture for Clout. These characters are not exactly scum of the earth. They are just a little bit above them. You know, they're still not great people. They still kind of suck as characters, but you know, I, 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 I enjoyed having them in this story. Um, and I don't think they deserve to be burned, dishonored, and banished, but they're definitely not the greatest people ever. Next we have what is wrong with that child? <laughs> this is a line that Ursa says, uh, Azula and Zuko's mother. I think it was when Azula, like they were really young, and Azula was like, oh, if Uncle Iroh died, then father would get to be the next Fire Lord. And then Ursa was like, why, why would you say that? What is wrong with this child? <laughs> so this tier is for the characters that you would say, what is wrong with this child too? They're not terrible people, but they're also not great. They've done and said some questionable things. There are some stuff surrounding them that is just like not it, but it's not not it to the point that it's like, let's destroy a whole culture for clout or burn dishonored or banished. They're kind of like a happy middle. Next we have Iroh's tail. Now this is for the characters that give you the feeling that you felt the first time that you watched Iroh's tail in the Tales of Ba Sing Se. That utter tragedy, the devastation, the sadness, an all-encompassing feeling of despair. Next, we have Boomerang. <laughs> this tier is for characters that give you the feeling that Sokka probably feels every time he says Boomerang, but also for characters that are always there for you, that are just great, cute, amazing people, that are resilient, that are loyal, and that will always be back, just like a Boomerang. After that, we have You Should Have Feared Me More. <laughs> This is a line that Azula says. It was after May betrayed her in favor of Zuko. I saw that scene for the first time, amazing. And then like the betrayal of the sentry with Tai Lee came right after it, amazing, amazing. So yeah, the you should have feared me more category is for characters that we definitely should fear more. Badasses, characters that could mess you up and will mess you up with zero hesitation. It's characters that could honestly single-handedly save or destroy the world. So basically my kind of character. And finally, the topmost tier, the tier that is the most amazing is Zuko. Okay, let's do it. So obviously we gotta start off with our boy, Aang, the avatar himself. Him, you know, I feel like he is somewhere in between You Should Have Feared Me More and Zuko, uh, not Zuko, sorry. You Should Have Feared Me More and Boomerang because here's the thing, while He's like the avatar, obviously. So he's definitely like, you should have feared me more. Like I can definitely single-handedly take down the entire world or save it. But that's mostly like when he's in avatar mode, like when he's fighting and especially when he goes into the avatar state, when he's just in his normal self, he's very cuddly, very snuggly, very, you know, kiddish. He's not very, you should have feared me more in his everyday life, unless you steal Appa. If you steal Appa, he is ready. He will throw hands. But other than that, he just he doesn't strike me as a you should have feared me more guy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in boomerang. Next up we have Appa. I, I feel like I have the same idea for Appa. Like he can definitely kick ass, but he's also just he's so boomerang, you know? He's just there for you, he's ready, he is going to help you in whatever you need. He's so boomerang. 
Azula. Okay, she's a definite you should have feared me more. I mean, she's the one who said the line. And yeah, we should definitely fear her more because it's Azula. But at the same time, she gives me like tragic vibes because she's 14 years old, had a mental breakdown at the end of the series, and has basically been raised by a father who doesn't really love her, but just sees her as a way to conquer the world even more. She's been pitted against her brother her entire life. She just gives me, she gives me Iroh's tale, but also You Should Have Feared Me More. Like, she's definitely You Should Have Feared Me More. So I'm gonna put her in both. Did I put two picks? Yeah, I did. I anticipated this. Okay, she gets both. Bosco. <laughs> okay, I, I made this tier list a while ago, so I kind of forget which characters I put. So it's nice to see Bosco. Um, what do I think about Bosco? Bosco, he, he gives me boomerang vibes too. Like... All of the animal, all of the animal companions give me boomerang vibes because they're always there. They're ready to just be there for you and they will always come back no matter what. So Bosco gets boomerang too. Now we got Boomy. Okay, so Boomy, one of the greatest earth benders the world has ever seen aside from Toph. Uh, he, he can be boomerang because he and Aang are very close friends. He's a really great help towards the... Uh, you know, team avatar throughout the entire thing. Um, but I, I feel like he's more you should have feared me more because, I mean, he's one of the greatest earthbenders the world has ever seen. So you should have feared me more. Also, he he was part of the five people that liberated Ba Sing Se, so you should have feared me more. <laughs> the Cabbage Man. Okay, he's definitely an Iroh's tale. It's just this poor man has been through so much at the hands of Team Avatar. He and his cabbages deserve to live long, happy lives away from Team Avatar where they cannot disturb him. He's just so tragic throughout the entire thing. Sparky Sparky Boom Man or Combustion Man. I prefer Sparky Sparky Boom Man. Huh, he's definitely somewhere down here. Uh, what is wrong with this child? I mean, you could say that about him because like even after Zuko was trying to get him to stop hunting the Avatar, he was still going. He was just so ready to kill them. Um, let's destroy a whole culture for clout. I don't think he deserves to be burned, dishonored, and banished. Um, because, I mean, he was just doing what he was told. I mean, then he didn't do what he was told, because Zuko told him to stop, but then he didn't. He just yeeted Zuko off the side of the, the temple and then continued attacking. Um, um, I'm, I'm gonna put him in what is wrong with this child, because that was definitely a what is wrong with this child moment. Like, stop, stop. <laughs> Father Hakoda, oh my goodness. The way I love Hakoda. Hakoda really has the best genes. <laughs> oh no, I put him- no, he does not deserve to be there. I'm so sorry. Hakoda has the best genes. I am in love with Hakoda. <sighs> I'm also in love with both his children. Okay. <laughs> Hakoda, he gives me boomerang vibes because he's like really reliable, but then he also like left Katara and Sokka for years to go fight in this war. But then again, he had to because it's like, he's the chief. That's his duty to go aid. So... I mean, you should have feared me more. He is pretty badass, but I don't know. He just gives me more boomerang vibes, so he goes in boomerang. Uncle Iroh. Okay. Objectively, one of the best characters in the entire series. Um, again, I feel like a lot of these characters fall somewhere between you should have feared me more and boomerang. Because Uncle Iroh is definitely boomerang. He's so boomerang because he's always there for you. He just wants what's best for you. Even if you hurt him and leave him, you will find your way back. That's I'm talking to Zuka right now. You will find your way back because you know how much he means to you. Oh my goodness. But also at the same time, he single-handedly broke out of a Fire Nation prison. He beefed up. He... <laughs> and he was also part of the team that liberated Ba Sing Se. And, oh my god, he knows how to redirect lightning, he knows how to create lightning, he uses te uh, techniques from every bending style. Oh my god, you should have feared me more. He's definitely, you should have feared me more. Jet! Um, I have a confession to make. I don't care about Jet, <laughs> like, especially in book one, like, I just don't care about him. That episode in book one, was it like episode, uh, I don't remember what number it was, but yeah, I didn't really care about his episode all that much. He kind of got better in season two, but that's because his um, memory was wiped. Before then, he was just adamant on outing Iroh and Zuko. <sighs> I don't know if he's what is wrong with this child, because, like, I just 
I don't know. He just doesn't feel like what is wrong with this child. But he also doesn't feel like let's destroy a whole cult cl culture for clout. Can I speak English? Um, so that just leaves Burn Dishonored and Banished. And I think that's fitting. I could have done without him. Burn Dishonor and Banish that boy. Next we have Judy. Okay. Judy, when I first saw her, I was like, what is going on? Um, she's definitely, like, she's kind of culty, you know? I mean, all of Bossing Say was kind of culty under Long Feng. Um, she's definitely down here somewhere. What is wrong with this child? Let's destroy a whole clout culture for clout. I mean, I would say she was let's destroy a whole culture for clout, but it's not like she was working on her own orders. Like she was she was under Long Feng's thumb the entire time. So I don't think it's fair to put her in this one. So I think I'm gonna put her in what is wrong with that child because it's like, seriously, what is wrong with the people in Ba Sing Se? Next we have our girl Katara. Okay, Katara, she's a definite you should have feared me more. I mean. Yes, again, she's, she could be Moomerang too, but she just feels most like you could, you should have feared me more because, hello, have you seen her waterbend? I fear her more, and you should too. Girl, can you go in the right spot after Iroh, please? Thank you. I mean, she literally challenged a master waterbender at 14 years old and almost won. So, if that doesn't shout you should have feared me more, then I don't know what will. Next, we have the Earth King. Um... Again, he's somewhere down here. Like, what is wrong with this child? Again, he didn't know that there was a war going on, so I feel like he's more here than here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put him with what is wrong with this child. Oh my goodness, go in the right spot. Next we have Kaya, Sokka and Katara's mother. And, you know, I think she's an Iroh's Tale character, because she was killed when Sokka and Katara were really young and Katara never got over it. So she's an, she's an Iroh's Tale character. Then we have Avatar Kiyoshi. Okay, I don't even have to explain this one. Am I wrong? Long Feng, the man himself, he, he is definitely a let's destroy a whole culture for clout kind of guy. He was just content to let the war go on and not participate at all and not let the king know. So let's destroy a whole culture for clout. Lu Ten, I mean, Luten is literally the reason I put Iroh's Tale as a category, so uh, yeah, he deserved better. Rip. Press F to pay respects. May. Okay, she's she's definitely you should have feared me more. I mean, have you seen her? She's a you should have feared me more character without a doubt. She's so great. Sokka. <laughs> okay, Sokka. 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 I feel like there's a lot of places he could be, but again, he goes, I feel like, okay, honestly, he could be what is wrong with this child, solely because of the cactus scene, like, he drank juice out of a cactus, and then went on a trip, and then as soon as he was starting to sober up, licked slime off a wall, and then tripped again. That's Sokka for you, but then he's also insanely intelligent, like, there is no in-between. He feels like a boomerang character because, again, he's so snuggly and warm and he's always there for you and he will never leave. And also, the boomerang is his. Like, the boomerang. It's his. But at the same time, his ingenuity makes him, like, you should have feared me more. Like, yeah, he's an idiot sometimes, but most of the time, he is too smart for his own good. So, I'm gonna... I really want to put him in both. I think I put two... Did I put two pitch? Oh, I did! Look at me. He gets both. Okay. Momo! <laughs> okay. Momo, again, feels like a boomerang character. Like I said, all of the animal companions are boomerang characters. They are so loyal, and Momo especially. Like, Momo was about to head into the final battle with Aang. Like, he was a- he would have gone. If Aang hadn't told him to leave, he would have gone. So, uh, boomerang. He's a boomerang character. Who is this? Who is that? Oh, it's Ozai! <laughs> wow. Um, he's definitely somewhere down here. He's not what is wrong with this child. I think he's so far past what is wrong with this child. Um, I mean, he's the original let's destroy a whole culture for clout character, right? So, um, I think I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put Ozai and let's destroy a whole culture for clout, because, I mean, that's essentially what he did. I mean, his, his ancestors did, but... All right, we have Avatar Roku. Okay, okay, I have thoughts. 
he feels like a boomerang character. Again, he's steadfast. He's always there for you. But at the same time, it's like he couldn't kill his friend when he knew he needed to. <sighs> like, even Zuko, in the graphic novels, I've only read one so far, but I, in The Promise, which is the first graphic novel, Zuko was like, hey, if I ever turn bad, Aang, you better kill me. <laughs> and that was a, a big plot point in that. Um, and Roku just could not recognize that his friend was so far gone and that he was going to do terrible, terrible, terrible things and he couldn't kill him and then he ended up dying. So, um, I'm gonna give him a what is wrong with this child because I know it's hard to, I know it's hard to, like, kill a friend, but at the same time, if it's kill a friend over stop a potential devastating war, I think they're gonna have to kill the friend. I'm sorry. I mean, teenagers, literal children, made that decision. Aang, Zuko, they came to that agreement themselves. So, Roku, what is wrong with this child? Speaking of the friend, next we have Sozin. Um, he's definitely, let's destroy a whole culture for clout. Because he's the one who destroyed the Air Nomads. Oh, Ozai was the one, um, he was gonna take out all the Earthbenders. So, yeah, like grandfather, like grandson. Next up we have Suki, oh my goodness. Suki, she's a definite you should have feared me more right next to Sokka because she shoved some respect women juice down his throat and he is so much better for it. He respects the women and we love him. <laughs> next we have Toph. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw her there because I don't think I need to explain that further. Have you seen the girl? Tai Lee, okay, okay, she's Again, she's between You Should Have Feared Me More and Boomerang. Why did I do this? <laughs> she's Boomerang because she's always there for you. Like, she is Azula's number one girl, but then also when she finally realized, like, May needs me more right now, she switched sides so quickly in the betrayal of a century. Um, but she's also kind of badass because she can chi block. She has, like, gymnastics and martial arts skills, so You Should Have Feared Me More. You know, just put just put the whole trio there. Azula, May, Tylee. You should have heard me more. Next we have Ursa, mother to Zuko and Azula. I know she's a very loving mother. She was very, very loving towards Zuko, but she could have been there more for Azula. And I feel like if she had been there more for Azula, if she'd made it known that she loved Azula as much as she loved Zuko, then mayhaps Azula wouldn't have gone down the path that she did. You know, when we when we talk about Azula and Zuko's upbringing, we really have to blame both parents. Cause yeah, Ozai was a genocidal freaking maniac um, who was raising his kids to be killing machines, fighting each other. But Ursa, on the other hand, was giving more attention to one child over the other, which then made the other child feel like she was lesser than, which then made her easy to be manipulated by Ozai, who was the one parent who was giving her attention. So. Mm, she's a very what is wrong with that child um, character. I think it's fitting too. You know, she's the one who said that line and she deserves to be in this category because she didn't do her due diligence as a parent. Now, having said that, I didn't, I haven't read the search yet. I know they find her in the search. I am just going off of what I remember from this series. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. Why do I do this? Next, we have Yue. Ugh. She's Boomerang and... I wrote tale because okay she's so boomerang she's just great but she's also I wrote tale because like she and Sokka had just started something and they were so cute but then she she was she just had to be brave and give up her life for the moon spirit and now she's gone now she's the moon my first girlfriend turned into the moon that's rough buddy um yeah she's Iris tale all right we got Zhao Hmm, Zhao is definitely one of these two. He's way far gone, like way past what is wrong with this child. He's definitely one of these. Um, for one thing, he was really about to take out the waterbenders, so that is very much like a let's destroy a, a whole culture for clout. But on the other hand, You know what? You know why I think I'm like ping-ponging back between these? It's because Zhao is just more annoying to me. <laughs> like, uh, burned, dishonored, and banished. Just, yeah, he's terrible. And honestly, he's like on the same level as Ozai. A little bit less than Ozai because Ozai is actually insane. Um, but Zhao just has that annoyance factor. So I'm gonna put him in burned, dishonored, and banished. <laughs> and lastly, we have Zuko. Okay, 
<laughs> That's it. Uh, that is my definitive tier ranking of all the characters of Avatar, or really just the amount of characters that I remembered off the top of my head. Do you think I got it right? Do you think I got it wrong? Who do you think deserves to be in a different tier? Let me know all of that good stuff. Wow, this was fun. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, yeah, comment down below. Let me know who do you think I got right and wrong. And let me know, should I do like more tier rankings of stuff? I don't know what I would do, but this was kind of fun and I enjoyed it. So let me know. If you enjoyed this sort of content and you want to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I make videos every Friday. Also, I'm on platforms. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, and Letterboxd, those links will be in the description as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!